Hello everybody. So today make me 12 days since I done my surgery, the tummy tuck. Yes, 12 days. I want to do a video last week, but I was not able to do it because too much pain, too much suffer, a lot of sleep, a lot of rest, and I have a lot of difficulty to move doing normal stuff like sit down go at in the bed go out of the bed wake up stay up walk everything was difficult everything i was walking like a old person because you know the fact that if you know the tummy tuck the tummy tuck they take off um the extra skin and I had extra skin so when they tied up the skin it should that I cannot walk straight I have to walk like like an old person even when I sleep in I'm not sleeping in the bed I'm sleeping in on the couch uh, I have to put stuff like this I will be in the form of V okay so yes it's um, it's not um, easy it was difficult for me to to think to cook because me i'm i'm a, i'm a mom and i love to cook okay i love to cook and uh i was not able to cook i was tired uh i was um, exhausted quick very exhausted at this moment i'm uh, i cannot walk too long i cannot take too much stuff because they say not more than five uh, pound okay i have medication to take if i don't take the medication at the good moment the pain it's awful okay but my daughter was planning uh, my the hour but one moment she cannot do everything so sometimes i miss the the real time so the pain it's awful and i have to take my medication and um, when i suffering it's exhaust me so now i have to sleep yeah uh another thing i want to say yes my daughter gave me the injection for put my my uh, blood more thinner like this i will not have a uh, emboli i think we say in english but to not having uh, my blood come in in, in like and go it to my heart you know what i mean okay so my daughter have to give me i think five or six injection every day uh so this is over i have to wear socks to keep my my legs tight for for the blood you know so i have two drain left and right every morning i have to check how much how much uh, ml i have get out the, the liquid or the blood and uh, at the night to before to go to sleep or before uh, after be, at nine o'clock okay so it was it was uh, rough the few days no the few nights it was my kids that i have to call to help me to go up from the, the 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 couch yes so the few it was rough for them because they don't have a good night of sleep and uh, but they they was marvelous my kids was marvelous so go to the bathroom it, it was rough okay the pain the description of the pain because my kids asked me what kind of pain i have the pain i have it's like someone is cutting me my belly it's the feeling that i have i felt the cutting yes <laughs> i don't know for the other person how they felt but me it's the real feeling that i have it's like someone is cutting me when i don't take the medication at the good time okay uh, and one week after the surgery I have went to see the um, the nurse. She took off the two drain. 
So she said, now you don't have a dream. So you must go see someone who make massage, but for lymphatic drain. She said it's going to be good. So two days after to see professional certified who doing lymphatic massage, lymph drain, drain, lymphatic drain massage. Okay. And let me tell you, when I went, I was scared. Okay. Uh, I try me I, a lot. You see me on the, in the car, but I'm not always in the car and I, I'm more on the public service than in the car. Okay. Uh, for now, it's good for me to stay away from public service. Take bus, take uh, train. It's not good for me. Why I'm going to explain you that. Okay. First, before I'm, before to talk about uh, the, uh, the massage, I have to talk about... Um, because, yes, it's, it's arrived maybe two or two times that I have to take the uh, the bus no it's not a good idea it was dangerous for me to do that because people don't give a f about people people can make give you injury because they don't check what they do they don't they don't give a f about what surround them they don't look if they have someone old around some or someone pregnant me i'm the one who's most dangerous i'm i'm the no not me dangerous i'm the one who's more uh it can happen more something to me than a pregnant woman or uh, someone old why because you don't see that i have a surgery Nobody see that I have surgery. So people don't, don't be aware. Don't, don't, they are not careful around them. They just thinking about them and F that shit. And they just do what they have to do. So when I realized that three times people um, can hit me, I see that was stupid from me so i decided to be in car no more um, public service take a bus take a train nope people don't give a f and this is difficult and difficult for me because you cannot see you can i cannot prove you eh? and i don't want to show you okay that was rough okay but to go to the massage, I went to the massage on uh, in taxi. And um, I will tell you that when I went there, I was scared that the the woman that who will make me the massage was not certified. I asked her a few questions. She said, yes, I'm certified. Uh, yes, it's for lymphatic drain. So I, I was okay. But how can I say that? To sit down and after that to 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 sleep to 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 put myself like this, uh, it was painful, and I was scared, and my body was very fragile, and I will say to you, my soul was very fragile. You can say, what the heck soul have to be in here? I said what I said. If you don't believe me, it's okay. I don't ask people to believe me. I explain my experience. Okay. So. Everything was, you know, I was broke. Because the surgery, it's, you broke. Okay. The surgery, you broke. Okay, so she start to massage me 
and she understand that she have to be very very gentle with me and you know i don't like to say that i don't like to to remember people that but a lot of time people think black women we are strong we are rough we are tough we don't feel pain we don't eh, 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 eh. i was crying like a baby so she gave me some tissue because she see that i'm crying i was crying she didn't hurt me but i was crying gonna say who told you to do look i was crying and after that how can i say that she have to make massage on my belly and it's where it's more sensitive like very sensitive so the technique she used at the end because she she done the massage very everywhere on my body and um she done the massage like um how can i say you that it's like i was i felt i felt like a baby me jen i'm old huh? i felt like a baby i was even my position in uh, on the bed it was you know uh, like uh, a newborn i have the the position of a newborn i was felt like a baby and she was so gentle to me and finally she said that she had to massage my belly and she put a uh, uh, tissue on on me and she massaged me and i didn't felt any pain and i every time she asked me are you okay are you okay and yes i told you i i feel okay and trust me if i didn't feel okay i will tell her that and that it was like a release for me like and i start after that i had more energy and i start to walk more straight before it was like this i walked like this after that i start to walk straight okay like this for me it's more normal before it was not normal it was i was struggling and um how can I tell you that I I understand that um, this surgery bring me I cannot explain you yes I'm gonna explain you because I know how to explain stuff yes the after surgery what's bring me it's bring me a lot of pain and hurt and um it's like all the pain and hurt that i had before was in my belly yes i know how to explain stuff my all my pain was in my belly for me to do the tummy tuck, I was not comfortable to do the tummy tuck because me and the generation X, okay? The generation X in Canada, we don't do stuff. We try to, no, mm -mm, we, 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 we're dealing with uh, our stuff. So to do that for my goal, it's like, eh, but I done it, okay? And when, like I said in the other video, i don't do surgery even when i had my kids no nothing me i'm natural woman bang bang i get my kids take my kids go home bye okay so to do that for me it was wow i was questioning myself but i know i have to do it but i was questioning myself you know doubt doubt is always there so 
when I when they open me, they take off what they have to take off. They they type everything. Now it's sensible, sensible, sensitive. Okay. My pain, all my pain of my life. As a gen, as a woman, as a daughter, as a, uh, a, a mom, as a worker, as a... No, name it. The suffering was there. So to the massage, release a lot of things. I know. I didn't expect the, the, the video will go to this way. Sorry. But it's the fact. Okay? So... My pain is there. All the suffering, all the deception was in my belly. So, the fact that here it's fragile, now actually I'm fragile. So, I don't want to interact with people who have problems. First, I'm a person who don't like people who have problems, but less now, less, less than less, less than ever. Okay, so everything is here. And even when I go home, because after the massage, I was, ha I had more energy. I, I felt more happy. I, 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 I felt good, you know. But when I went home, I laughed with the kids. Pain in my, my belly. I'm going to say it's normal. They explained me something that it's rough. The pain is in my belly. They explained me something sad. The pain is in my belly. They explained me, they showed me something sad. So now... Since they took off my dream, since uh, since last week, everything they say to me, they say, oh, no, mom, you're going to say it's going to hurt your belly. Yes. All my sad emotion, everything that it's hurt and pain start for me, in my case, in my belly. And the fact that I done this surgery, my belly, it's more sensitive than never. So, how can I say that? I don't want to deal no more with some kind of pain, some kind of deception, some kind of hurt people hurtful situation i don't want now before i say avoid drama i no no now it's like avoid a v o e d in red because now i can't i can't I'm talking only with people that I feel good. Now I can't. <sighs> so now my next appointment will be one month after the surgery. So it will be soon. It will be maybe in uh, uh three weeks i have my appointment with the doctor last week it was with the nurse she have to take the drain she check if everything is okay she explained me how to to do my stuff what i have to do go see a massage or the lymphatic drain but one month after it will be with the doctor so um so that's it i'm ready i'm ready for real uh, and how can I say that for the uh, mindset my mindset is still there yeah 
Me, I, I, I'm missing a lot of men. Yeah. 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 Jen, me, I, I usually love to be surrounded with men. Have the mindset of men. Not because I'm not... I have a few women that I love to, but I don't need. I need more mindset of men. For what I need, for my goal, it's mindset of men. Because men are focused. No matter what, they focus. You don't like what I say? Delete me. I I'm good with that. Delete me. I'm going to sleep well this night. Okay? But I said what I said. If you want to take note and follow what I mean, okay. But if you don't agree, it's up to you. But I'm not going to change. It's what I think. Take it or leave it. Okay? I love to be surrounded with men. I love to be surrounded with mindset of men. Yes. Yes. So I listen to David Goggle. He's sure. Andrew Tate. Yes. Uh, uh, I have another one. Those who... Uh, I, I forgot uh, men that train like the the popular one I listen to them I listen to Mel, Mel Robin yeah she's a woman but the most of my mindset it's men yes and uh, it's helped me to stay focused because now I'm not training. Maybe for people, the majority of the society don't train during one, two weeks. It's okay for me. It's not normal. But I have to accept it. But I have to keep my mindset on flick. Like this when the body will be on point. I will be able to wake up and say today go to the gym. For real, I will say go to the F gym. Go train. And I know I'm going to do it. Because I didn't do everything to just be lazy. Not Jen. Not me. Eh, eh, not me. I came on this earth to do something good. I came on this earth to be happy about what I do. Not to stay happy everywhere because you cannot, the real life, you cannot be happy every time. It's, it's not good to be sad every time, but it's not good to be happy every time. But I come in this hurt to do my purpose, to do something. And I know that after my recovery, gym, I keep my mind hot. The mind must be more than the heart. My heart, I can be fragile. Don't, don't be fooled by my fragility. For now, who love to be sexy. Eh? To be sexy. Sexy don't give nothing. Sexy is for a time. Okay? Sex seeds for a time. And if sex seeds don't come with, with kindness, with uh, uh, knowledge, sex seeds, like, it's like nothing. Okay? So for me, it's not to be sexy. It's to be mindset focused. Now, what I pull, pull out, it's my sensitive mom. Even if my kids are grown, they are happy. <laughs> I cook, I cook this morning early. The best cooking is early in the morning when everybody's sleeping and the smell wake them up. Mm. Yeah, I love to cook for my kids, okay? For real, I love to cook for those I love. And um, I was proud to cook now. I cook, so I'm focused. Yes, nobody gonna gonna distract me but uh, I'm happy to be a mom I'm happy that my kids are happy and 
you know uh, memory will never die memory will always be there so now it's my time to be more the mom that to have the time and it's okay but i nourish my mindset and i nourish my soul too i don't, don't have choice I will not be able to do that without him. But I nourish my mindset. Like this. When my body will say, okay, I'm good. <laughs> mm. Ay, ay, ay. <sighs> it's the more I can do now. <laughs> so on this, see you in the next video.